Today, I'm going to be surviving 100 days in Minecraft Hardcore. I recently survived 100 days in my brand new Minecraft Hardcore series. So go grab some popcorn, sit back, relax, as this is going to be a long one. Because today, I survived 100 days in Minecraft Hardcore. Looks like we're going to be starting our journey in the middle of a desert, surrounded by a Badlands bone and the jungle. And looks like there's a village over there as well. Not even one minute into the world, and I've already found something in important in the 1.20 update. The camel. I looted a blacksmith, which gave me three obsidian, two bread, and a saddle. And now we have a huge problem. We started the world and we have no wood. So I quickly run over to the jungle, swimming through the water, and collected my very first bits of wood. So I can then get a crafting table, craft up my very first pickaxe. And then I started collecting a lot of stones so I could upgrade all my tools. Right, now our next goal should be to get some food. I'm also going to collect some of this bamboo. I started exploring around the jungle for the easiest food source at the moment. The melon. Where could this melon be? It could be anywhere. Is it here? No. Is it over there? No. No, no, no. And as I was about to lose all hope, I found it. The melon block. Let's collect this melon. And now we have a bit more food. And next, I want to make my way back to the village that I saw earlier. And on my way, I looked through a few caves to see if I could go mining. But unfortunately, they were all rubbish. Though this zombie did drop a potato, which was pretty cool. And now it was time to return back to the village. Journey to the village. Now that we're back in the village, there's one thing we need. More food. <laughs> and in the ground, I noticed some mysterious obsidian. What could this thing be? I started excavating around it, and I slowly got deeper and deeper. Eventually, I dug into a chest, which gave me some loot. I got some gold pants, a gold pickaxe, some flint, iron nuggets, and even glistering melons. I then made my way out of the excavation that I just did, and then found myself in a villager's home, stealing their bed. And whilst I was sleeping, I dreamt about becoming the world's best chef. Call me Blue Ramsey because I'm going to be cooking the most exquisite 10 Michelin star steak you'll ever see. Well, wait a minute. Pause for a second. You may notice the day count isn't like actually matching up with the gameplay. That's because this entire series, I haven't been paying attention to the day counter. All I know is that at the end of the video, I did reach day 100. So if you're confused with why the day counter is off or looks weird, or is it going too fast or too slow, that's why. Anyways, let's get back to the video. But jokes aside, it's now time we get some armor and tools. And there's only one way to do this, and that's by going out and exploring looking for caves. Oh, what do we have here? It was a useless mine shaft that had nothing in it, so let's continue running around. Oh, what the heck? There's a minecart thing out here. There were quite a few of these chest minecarts, and they had some pretty good loot in it. I also got two diamonds. Looks like there's a plains biome over here, so I might actually be able to find a proper cave now. Okay, game, where the heck are the caves? What is that? Oh, what do we have here? Looks like we've finally found a cave. So now I can go enter and look for the good old iron. Oh, okay, baby zombie, get out of here. All the baby zombies have been dealt with. So now we can reward ourselves with some iron. Is there any iron in here? And there we go, our first bit of iron. But unfortunately, I think that's all the iron left in this cave. So let's go ahead and look for a better one. Let's grab some more food before we go back in the caves. And then using our smoker, we can go ahead and cook this up super fast. And now I can continue my journey of finding a good cave. I explored far and wide until... Oh, here we go. We've got a ravine. This is going to be perfect. I'm sure we're going to get lots of loot from here. And not long after entering into the cave, things are already looking promising because we've got some iron here. And whilst I'm still in the caves mining for iron, I would like to quickly ask if you guys could subscribe. But let's get back to mining. Massive hordes of mobs started attacking me, but ultimately they had no chance against me. I continued exploring around, fighting off mobs, mining up iron. And eventually all my focus was put onto getting iron. And there we go. We now have 44 iron. So now I'm going to get somewhere safe so I can smelt all this up and get the armor and tools. This looks like a good spot. So let's place down the furnace and start smelting all my iron. And there we go. All my iron is now being smelted. So let's craft up some armor and get ourselves some more tools. And just like that, we can now leave the cave and I can go ahead and sleep. 
I woke up to a massive horde of mobs trying to attack me. I fought them off, and now I have one goal in mind. And that is to go out and explore looking for one thing and one thing only. What is this thing that I'm looking for? Well, you're about to find out very soon. But before we get to that, I just found a desert temple. So let's go inside and loot it. And you know what? For the fun of it, let's blow this thing up. Why isn't this thing blowing up? What's going on? Turns out I need to go down and press the pressure plate myself. This is going to be very risky. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, there we go. And now that's out of the way, I could start my exploration once again. On my way, I found a ruined portal. So I went over to it and looted it. Though I didn't get too much stuff from it. I continued running around. I started in a desert biome, then a badlands biome, followed by a jungle biome, and finally a plains biome, where the sun set, so I went to sleep. In the morning, I found a village off in the distance. And you know what I had? Hay bales. Woo! And not too long later, something amazing happened. Yo, there it is! Oh, 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 oh my gosh, the cherry blossom biome is so big. I'm actually so glad we didn't have to run too far to find this. And now we can get the cherry blossom wood. Now that I have all this wood, it's time to start building a house. And honestly, I think I'm gonna build my house here because it looks incredible. So let's quickly prepare all this land. And now it's time we start building up a house. I've got no clue what I'm going to be building and I'm pretty bad at building. So this is going to be very interesting. Looks like I'm going for some oval shape here. I don't know if it's gonna stay like this, but let's see how it turns out. The next thing that I started doing with this house build was the floor. And to do this floor, I was using cherry wood slabs because it looks cool and it fits the oval overall theme of the house. And now it's time to actually start building up this house. And to do that, I'm going to need some walls. Initially, I started building up the walls with the shape of the floor. But after seeing the way this looks, I decided to change my mind. It is time to remove 30 minutes of my time and rebuild this entire house. The house is coming along quite nicely, but now I need to collect some more materials so I can finish off this house. The main material that I'm going to need is stone, because I'm going to be using stone brick stairs for the roof. I'm also going to need some sand for glass, and terracotta for extra details. But now that I've got all these materials, let's get back to building. The house is coming along quite nicely, but as you can tell, the roof is not fully complete. And to complete this roof, I'm going to need some more blocks. But not any ordinary block. I'm going to be using some diorite, so let's collect this. And that right there is the house complete. This is iron armor. It's pretty bad. And if I'm going to do bigger projects than just building houses, I'm going to need some better tools. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't been on this world in like three weeks and I've kind of forgotten where everything is. And what I didn't know was how painful it was going to be to get this full diamond armor. All right, looks like there's a cave down. Wait, where, where's the cave? Is it this way? Oh, yes, okay. So we've got a cave here and looks like there are some mobs that we're going to have to fight off. 
So I think for this mining trip today, we're going to begin with the easy materials like coal and iron. And then we're going to slowly make our way all the way up to the good old diamond ore. Looks like we've got some iron. There was only one. Man. Hello, creeper. Yeah, I think that's everything from this cave. So we can go back out and start exploring in a different one. Ooh, what the okay, we are crafting a shield up right away. Oh, baby zombie. Okay, you know I what? I don't think now is the best time to be in this cave. Oh, <laughs> what am I doing? Right, so now it's time to go get full diamond armor. And after all that, I now know to be a whole lot more careful. Looks like we've got an amethyst geode here. Now, not having a bucket in these caves doesn't really help, I can't lie. And we can start off by mining this iron right here. Yep, that's all we need. Ooh, okay, we can get some redstone as well. And, oh yes, okay, we've got some diamonds over here as well. Very nice. Okay, we only got two diamonds from that, though. And whilst I mine this redstone, I want to quickly mention, if you guys haven't already subscribed, please consider it. These videos take quite a while to actually record. That would make my day. And looks like we've got something here that we have to be really careful around. So I'm just going to be crouching all the way around. Oh, okay. No, run, run, run. Oh, no! <laughs> Okay, dig, 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 go, 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 go. Oh, it's, it's right over there. I don't think it knows I'm over here, which means we'll somewhat be safe. But look at that thing. It's so ominous. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Not a whole lot happened here. But as I was exploring through the caves, trying to get more diamonds, I stumbled across something new. Oh boy, this was going to be interesting. I don't think going down there would be very wise, but... Do we make wise decisions? Definitely not. I think we're gonna go enter into the ancient city. Let's just do it. I think it's pretty safe to say that it wasn't the best idea for me to be in the ancient city with just iron armor. <laughs> I was definitely risking the entire world at this point. Oh no! Yeah, I think I need to start making better decisions. <laughs> Oh well, despite that, I just continued going around the ancient city, looting more and more chests. Oh, 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 go, 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 go. And somehow we're still alive and chilling. Oh, come on. Oh, it's up there. I didn't even see that. What? Oh, hello, warden. We need to go. Was that diamonds? Yes, don't mind if I do. I'll take diamonds any day of the week. Well, now that's all out of the way, I think it may be time to leave this ancient city because I don't think it's the best idea for us to stay in here. Well, we're now out of that ancient city and I'm never going back to one of them. But I mean, hey, we got a cool diamond hoe, I guess. <laughs> Probably gonna need some lapis as well since I'm going to be using enchant. I kept running around around and around and I couldn't seem to find any diamonds. <sighs> All this mining is making me tired. This is just one single diamond, then I'm going to be upset. I'm upset. But now it's time to get serious and get that full diamond armor and diamond tools. Let's get to it. Oh no. Oh what? Wait, that just spawned a warden in? It is right over there. For some reason, I feel like I just walked around in circles. Not sure why, but honestly, I'm kind of finding it hard to find some diamonds. It shouldn't be this difficult, right? Diamonds! Oh yeah, there's more right next to it as well. Oh my gosh, wait, there's so many in this one spot. We just got three over there, now there's some more here, and there's also more on the ceiling over there. Now, that puts us on 17 diamonds, so we're getting very, very close to having enough now. I kept running around, found some new caves, and eventually... Yes! Okay, let's go. Oh, there's even more there. Okay, so now we have 29 diamonds. I think we'll get a little bit more, and then we should be good to go. I was fighting off a ton of skeletons, and then eventually I ran into something very cool. Oh, wait, there's two of them. And as I continued running through the caves, I found something not as good as the two spawners, but it's definitely good. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, yes, it's more than one. Okay, let's have a look. 
Can we get more than two? Unfortunately, it was only two diamonds, but around the corner, I found one more, which puts us on 32 diamonds, so I made my way out of the cave. So now that we're back at home, it's finally time that we craft up all the armor, but before I do that, I want to quickly empty out my inventory so we can put away everything that we got in this mining trip. Oh my gosh, I just realized I forgot to get something. I forgot to get all the obsidian. This obsidian is from the bottom chest. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. So since I forgot to grab the obsidian, I have to go out and explore and look for a lava pool or something because I don't want to go back in the caves and I kind of need that obsidian. So let's go explore. Now, I hope there's like a lava pool or something that is visible from the surface because I don't really want to go back in the caves. You know, that was kind of very annoying. I just realized I don't even have a bucket. What am I doing? I quickly went back home, crafted a bucket and then collected the obsidian. And there we go. We've got all the obsidian that I'm going to need. So let's go back home, build up the nether portal and now I can get all the diamond armor and tools so we can get one step closer to becoming invincible in this world. And now because I don't have bookshelves, I'm just going to go ahead and enchant this with whatever I can. There we go. So now you're probably wondering, you've got full diamond armor, but that doesn't make you invincible. Well, what I'm about to do next will literally make me invincible. But first, let's go to sleep. Well, this is a really nice view. The final step in becoming invincible in this world involves me finding two things. So I'm gonna have to go and explore and look for these two things. Hopefully it won't take me too long. Yep, we need a pillager outpost. Breathe in, because now it is time for a raid. Let's go! Yep, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing a raid because we can get totems of undying, which literally makes us invincible. Why aren't these guys shooting at me? I mean, hey, if you want to make it easy for me, that's all good by me. But yeah, we're just going to be running around and defeating this raid. <laughs> Hopefully not dying as well. And you know what? Whilst I'm here, I'm going to steal all the hay bales. Oh, looks like the next set of pillagers are over here. Oh, damn. First golden apple. They're just not attacking me again. Nice. This is perfect. Okay, I guess these raids are like glitched out or something because they're not attacking me. Oh, now they are. What the heck? I started to get really low on health. The only option I had was to run. I placed down the water bucket in hopes to prevent it from catching up to me. And then... Everything was gone. The rest of the raid... Was not recorded. <laughs> Are you kidding me? After all that, I did some like cool thing. I found lava and then I killed the ravages with the lava. Damn and finally, it. now that I'm back at home, I can do the last challenge thing to get invincible in Minecraft. And that's going to involve the nether. If I had my render distance up earlier on in the video, I would have been able to use that pillager outpost. But since I wasn't in the world for over three weeks, I forgot that even existed. But besides that, I don't think this is going to work. But let's go ahead and get some flint. Oh yes, second try. Nice. And with this iron, I can go ahead, craft a flint and steel. Now we just need to get out of this place. Let's go ahead. Boom. <laughs> now we can go into the nether and look for two more items that we need. I think we may have just found our very first bastion and that didn't take too long. Now let's just hope I only need to find one bastion, not 400 of them. All right, let's go. And here we are. We're at the bastion. Please give me what I want. Don't don't make this difficult. Okay, we gotta be really careful here. The piglin brutes do a lot of damage. Okay, we're gonna block it off. How did it hit me through that gap? I don't know, but we're going to quickly eliminate that guy. Now we can continue our endeavors in exploring this place. Oh, there's a chest down here. Oh, <laughs> no way, first try. Oh, yes, let's go. I then went running around in the nether for literally over an hour, but I couldn't find another bastion. So instead, I came back home, and now it's time to enter into the caves one more time because I need some diamonds and some gunpowder. We are not leaving the caves until we have a ton of gunpowder and enough diamonds to duplicate this smithing template. Oh my gosh, I've never been more happy to see a water cave in my life. There's even more diamonds here. Oh my my gosh. Oh, this is actually perfect. I collected a few more diamonds and then it was time to return back to the surface so I could enter back into the nether and use the TNT that I just crafted up to get some ancient debris. So 
So now it's time to go ahead and smelt all the ancient debris that I got. Which all of this ancient debris will be enough to give me three bits of netherite. And whilst all that smelts, I want to quickly upgrade a couple bits of my armor again because it's about to break. And I'm also going to craft up a brand new diamond pickaxe. And just like that, I can go ahead and enchant all of this. And now let's go ahead and craft up the smithing table. As well as the netherite ingots. So I can go ahead and upgrade my armor. And of course, we're also gonna upgrade the pickaxe. There we have it. We now have some netherite, a netherite pickaxe, but we're not done there because I wanna make my armor look awesome. Let's go ahead, put the silence armor trim on this and then whatever the heck this one is. There we go. Look at us now. We're so fancy. There are four bosses in Minecraft, including the Wicked Warden, the Eerie and the Dragon, the Wretched Wither, and the Elder Guardian. And today, I'm going to be defeating all of them in Minecraft Hardcore, starting with the Ender Dragon. So let's go into the nether and start collecting all the items that we need. I only have 12 hours to defeat all these bosses. Otherwise, I have to give my friend $100 because of a bet. So let's pick up the pace. On my quest to find the nether fortress, I encountered a few problems. Everything was up against me. Everything wanted me dead, even the terrain. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, <laughs> leave me alone. Oh, I just jumped into more fire. Oh, no. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. We're not starting this episode dying. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? I continued running around in the nether, exploring, looking for the nether fortress, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Eventually, I found myself in a warped forest biome. This is going to be perfect for us because endermen can spawn in the soul sand valley, the nether wastelands, and the warped forest biome, with the warped forest biome having the highest spawn rates. As I was running around looking for more endermen to defeat for enderpearls, I looked off in the distance. And to my surprise, there was a nether fortress. I now had 13 enderpearls, so I stopped what I was doing and ran over to the nether fortress. It was time to collect the other material that I was going to need. Yo, a terrible fortress. I started checking every corner around this nether fortress, looking for one thing. And I'm sure you all know what this one thing is. I am looking for a blaze spawn. Eventually, after exploring around the entire nether fortress, I finally came across a blaze spawner. Leaping over lava, I quickly made my way over to the blaze spawner. And now it's time to collect some blaze rods. And now that I'd collected all the blaze rods and I was still in the nether fortress, I decided I wanted to start collecting another material. Since we are beating all four bosses in this video, we're going to need some wither skeleton skulls. So we can summon the wither. the third with a skeleton skull. And now that we finally got the third skull, we could now move on to the next stage of the video, which is preparation for the very first boss fight. There are four things that we were going to have to do to prepare for this fight, starting with getting some more netherites. Since I don't have TNT to collect this netherite, I'm going to have to use my pickaxe. And I'm going to do that by digging in a straight line. And eventually, I'll find some netherite. Yo, let's go! Please be more than one. Oh, yes, it's two. Can we get another, please? Oh, okay, so that should put us on a total of four ancient debris, which is enough for at least one more netherite ingot. All right, let's get back to mining. I collected a few more bits of ancient debris, and then it was finally time to return back home. I then smelted up all my ancient debris and crafted up three netherite ingots, but we don't end there. Because for the next stage of preparation, I'm going back down into the mines and collecting some diamonds. Yeah! 
Okay, 32 diamonds will do. Now that I had all the diamonds, I could start running back home. I would need these diamonds so I could duplicate my netherite upgrade templates, as well as craft more diamond armor and diamond tools. Okay, so now I can go ahead and duplicate the templates, just like that. I'm going to enchant my helmet, and I need to collect a couple more diamonds. 15 diamonds is all I need, so let's go back home. I'm gonna go ahead, craft up some more boots, and a brand new sword. I'm then going to enchant my bow, craft an anvil, combine some items in the anvil to make us stronger, and then finally, I'm gonna turn all my armor and my sword into netherite. Hey, there we go, full netherite armor. I'm going to go ahead, craft up some eyes of ender, and now let's begin the journey looking for the stronghold. I started my very long journey running around looking for the stronghold. It was now time to defeat the Ender Dragon. See those guys? I'm gonna defeat them. I really need a trident for later on when we take on the Elder Guardian. So let's give it a try. Hopefully we can get it. Maybe, please. <laughs> Oh my god, I actually did? What? Bro, I was joking. What? <laughs> no way! Now that I have a trident, I can continue looking for the stronghold. I threw a couple more eyes looking for the stronghold, and eventually... Here we are. We've made it, I think. So let's dig down, and now let's look for the library so we can collect some bookshelves. And now let's look for the end portal room, where we can put the eyes of Ender into the portal. And let's finally go into the end and defeat the very first boss of today's video. This is the Ender Dragon. The boss of the end has 200 health, and her name is Jean. Now that we were in the end, the only way of leaving was to defeat the Ender Dragon. So our only choice was to beat it. I started using my bow and arrows to shoot out all the pillars to destroying the crystals one after another. I broke every single crystal in the end. I also pulled up the towers using my water bucket to destroy some more crystals. Once I ran out of arrows, but besides that, it is now time to finish off the dragon. Since I didn't have any arrows, we are going to have to defeat it using my sword. <laughs> Yes! There we go. The Ender Dragon has finally been beaten. So let's collect all the XP. And I'm also going to collect the Ender Dragon Egg. But we do not end there because I also want to get an Elytra. And to get the Elytra, I'm going to have to build up to the end gateway, pull through, and now we're going to have to go and explore and look for this end city. Now, where could this end city be? Hopefully, we don't have to run too far. And now that I've said that, I'm never going to find an end city. Let's pull over to the other island, and now we can begin our journey on looking looking for this end city. Whilst running around, I had a few close calls to death. Despite that, I bridged over the void, continued running, purling, and eventually, I finally found myself in front of an end city. So let's quickly defeat all these shulkers, and now we can go inside and start looting everything. All right, everybody, watch this genius 5 million IQ play. I'm gonna quickly break this chest, get bombarded with a ton of these stupid shulker bullet things, and then using this chest, I'm gonna craft up a shulker box. How smart of me. I looted a few more chests, and now it was finally time to visit the end ship. All right, now let's go inside and loot this place. Get out of here. I'm sick of shulkers. Gonna quickly loot all these chests. And now let's get the elytra. I'm also gonna collect this brewing stand for something later. I collected the dragon head and then made my way over to the second end city. And finally, we've made it to the next one. So let's quickly get rid of all these shulkers so we can actually get into the place. And then I I went straight to the end ship, where I could defeat the Shulker, loot the two chests, and collect the second elytra. So then I could make my way back to the end gateway, pull through, and go back home. 
And there we go. That's the first boss down. And now it's finally time to move on to the second boss, the Wither. And since previously I've already gotten the three Wither Skeleton skulls to spawn in the Wither, it's going to be quite easy to spawn this boss in. Though we can't really spawn it in straight away because we still need to do some preparations. First, I'm going to go back into the Nether. Oh crap. Oh no, the creeper went through the portal. Oh, this is bad. Please don't kill me. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. I defeated the creeper, so now I can go move on to what I wanted to do in the nether. Using all the gold that I had been saving up, I'm going to trade with piglins in hopes to get some arrows. Because that is currently the easiest way to get arrows for me. Oh, come on. No way we just wasted a totem like yeah, that. Yeah, it was a pretty stupid way to use a totem. But anyways, I moved all the piglins into a hole so they could start trading. And then I used three stacks of gold. <laughs> Yeah. And just like that, we've used all the gold that we just had. And now we have two stacks of arrows and some water bottles, which will be used later. So let's pick up the shulker box and make our way back home. And whilst I'm here, I'm also going to craft up two more shulker boxes, you know, since we can. And now I think we're fully prepared for this battle. I used my elytra to get down into the mines. I don't know how I didn't die here, to be honest. And then I started strip mining into the cave so I could then make a massive room so we can spawn this wither and now it's finally time to fight this wither all right here we go let's start shooting the wither we gotta be really careful let's just keep shooting it it's almost halfway all right now we need to go in and start hitting it with our sword come on let's keep hitting it and last hit 360 boom <laughs> I don't actually think it hit me once. That was way easier than I thought it would be. And now I'm level 69, and it's time to go ahead and defeat the third boss. So now it's time to prepare for the third boss, the Elder Guardian. I need a fishing rod, and for some reason, I don't have any string in my chest. So let's quickly go into the mines, and... Okay, here we go. Please give me some string. Oh, okay, that's like the perfect amount. So now we can go ahead, craft up a fishing rod, and now I'm going to fish until I get a puffer fish. Yes! We finally got the puffer fish. How did we get a lily pad and a bowl before a puffer fish? Who knows? Now it's time to go ahead and make the potions. By adding some blaze powder, nether warts, and bottles of water into the brewing stand, and then the puffer fish followed by some redstone, you should get some water breathing potions that last eight minutes. I added loyalty to my trident, and now it is finally time to go out and explore. I was going to be looking for an ocean monument so we can finally defeat the third boss. Boss. On my way, I also crafted a ton of buckets, milked some cows so I could remove the mining fatigue effect whenever I got it. I continued riding my boat. I found a village on my way, and I also found a ruined portal under the ocean. But it didn't have anything good for me. So let's continue on our boat looking for the ocean monument. Yes, we've finally found an ocean monument. Let's go. We're about to beat the third boss of today's video. Let's drink up the water breathing potion, and now now let's enter into the ocean monument. Okay, where can we find the Elder Guardian? We've got to defeat this thing. Where the heck do we find it? That's not very good, is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, let's use our trident. And since we have loyalty, it'll just come straight back to us. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Oh, okay, we need to heal up really quickly. Oh, ow. Okay, where's the Guardian? It's over there. Okay, let's get back in here and hit the Elder Guardian again. And there we go. We just took it out. And now let's quickly grab all these sponges. I'm going to quickly block myself up so I don't drown. And then I'm going to remove this mining fatigue effect by drinking the milk. Perfect. Now let's quickly just drink another water breathing potion and collect all these sponges. And just like that, we have finally beaten three of the four bosses. We have put this off for way too long. It is finally time to fight the Warden. But obviously... We need to do a couple things before we do that. I'm going to use this infinity book and put it onto my bow. Oh no, the anvil broke. Let's quickly craft up another anvil. I am one iron short. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. I have one in the furnace. So let's quickly craft this anvil up. And now I'm going to put the infinity book onto my bow. Next, I wanted to craft up some fireworks, but I didn't have gunpowder. And for some reason, I didn't record the gunpowder collecting process. So instead, let's go ahead and fight the warden. It's time to defeat the warden. 
Oh, this is, this is actually terrifying. Any wrong moves and it could be over for us. Okay, I think there's no time to waste. We just need to spawn this thing in. Oh, okay. Let's just do it. Oh, oh, it's spawning. It is spawning. Okay, uh, let's get the chest plate on. And now let's try to kill it. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, 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 okay. No, 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 no. That's really bad. Okay. It just one tapped us. We cannot use our swords against this. We're going to have to shoot it with our bow. Luckily, we got infinity. So let's just go ahead and start shooting this thing. Let's stay all the way back. It's getting closer to us. Let's continue shooting it. Surely it's getting weak. How much health does this thing have? I shot the warden a few more times and then eventually... Oh, and just like that, we defeated the warden. What does it drop? What does this thing drop? I haven't defeated the warden in such a long time. I don't know what it drops. And we can't get it because it all went in the lava. Oh, no. Okay, this may be really dumb, but I kind of want to spawn the warden in again so we can see what it actually drops. We're going to be really careful for this lava because I don't want the drops going in there. Oh, this is such a dumb idea. Oh, do we do it? There's another one of those shrieker things over there, so we could do it. Let's just do it. We have a totem. We shouldn't die. Okay, let's just spawn it in. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay, it's... Okay, is it gonna spawn in? Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Okay, let's just shoot it. And now we need to run. Okay, where is it? I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, where the heck am I? This blindness needs to go. Oh, it's down there. Oh, no, don't go back in the lava. Stay up here. We need you out of the lava. That's the whole reason I respawned you. Um, can we place water, please? Come on. Let's just continue shooting at it. Go, 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 go. Where the heck? Oh, it shot at it again. Okay, where is it? Oh, it's down there. No, don't fall down there. The warden may be the dumbest mob in Minecraft. Oh, it's up. Oh, oh, half a heart, half a heart, half a heart. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Where am I? We need to heal up. Okay, the warden's over there. Let's get up on this hill. All right, let's shoot at it from up here. Hopefully it can't reach us. Oh my God. Wait, it hit us? It hit us. Okay, our totem's gone. We have no totems left. This is really bad. Okay, we need to get rid of this warden now. Oh, now there's creepers here. You know what? I don't even care about the mob drop anymore. We need to get rid of this warden now. There we go. The warden is finally gone. I guess we'll never know what it dropped. Minecraft XP, arguably one of the most important aspects of the game. And well, yeah. Uh-oh. I clearly don't have much of it. So today, I'm going to be making a ton of XP farms, starting with the easiest, making my way to the hardest. And as we progress through each farm, we get more and more XP. I've already gone and got a mending villager in one of these houses. Yep, there we go. And I've put mending on my pickaxe. So now it's time to go out and explore and look for an area to build the very first XP farm. Let's go ahead and mine up some coal so we can get some XP to repair my pickaxe a little bit. And sticking to the cave theme, let's go back to the spawners that we found a few episodes ago because we're going to be making a mob grinder. Now let's loot all the chests so we can get rid of them. And now we need to start digging out a massive room. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Hopefully our pickaxe doesn't break. It kind of would suck if our pickaxe broke. It's kind of got the only mending enchant I've got. Uh, get out of here. And just like that, we should be fully complete with digging out this room. So now I'm going to use two buckets of water to make an infinite water source, which will then push the mobs down here. And now we can start using this mob grinder. And just like that, our pickaxe is now fully repaired. So now we can go ahead and make farm number two. The next farm that I'm going to be making is a blaze farm. And these are the materials that we are going to need. We need nine stacks of glass. And to get glass, we need sand. And mining that much sand is going to take a very long time. So let's quickly make a maxed enchant table and enchant my diamond shovel. Perfect. And now we can instantly mine sand. So let's go exploring and look for an area where we can mine up some sand. Well, I've found a patch of sand here, so hopefully this can get us most of the sand we need. And just like that, I think we've collected all the sand we need and a little extra. Next, I'm going to need a couple stacks of building blocks, some chests, and some hoppers as well. And now that I have all these items, let's go into the nether. And now we need to go look for that nether fortress. And now that we're in the nether fortress, it's time to go look for the blaze spawner. And there it is. So now we can start digging around it and removing the area where the blaze spawner will be. Yeah. 
I need to try somehow block off this lava. Oh, okay. Hold on. We got it, but we're on fire. Okay. <laughs> that was actually almost perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead, remove this tree and this edge. And now it's time to actually build up the farm. I'm not going to be watching a tutorial because I think it's pretty self-explanatory to build this. So now if we place the lava here, it should just flow into the middle. Yes. And now we need to build up the walls. And I kind of forgot to change the sand into glass. So let's craft up a ton of furnaces and begin smelting all this sand. Let's quickly make the collection area. And now let's build up the walls. Oh, this is so dangerous. Oh, it hit us. Oh, that's not good. I can't be bothered doing a cool edit again. Well, now the farm is fully complete. This was the most painful thing I have ever done in Minecraft, building this stupid blaze farm. There are two good things about this farm. First of all, I can use blaze rods for fuel for the furnace, and we also get XP. So let's quickly repair our pickaxe. So now it's time to start working on farm number three, meaning we need to make our way back home. Ah, uh, yep, here it is. So let's go through. And now we need to start collecting the materials for the next farm that we're going to build, which is an Enderman farm. However, before we do that, I want to go back to the village over here where the Mending Villager is. And I'm also going to need a bit of wood. And then I'm going to turn it into sticks so I can trade with this villager for some emeralds. Now we have mending on our elytra. So the next farm that we're going to be building is an enderman farm, and we're going to need a ton of materials, starting with a lot of leaves. I think I've got all the leaves that I'll need. Now it looks like Herobrine's been in my world, but now let's return back home. I then collected some wool so we could get some carpets, and... Whoa, what? Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention to the game. I then got all the other materials that I would need to build this enderman farm, and then made my way over to the stronghold went through the portal, and now it's time to build the Enderman farm. All right, I think we're going to build the farm here. So let's place down the shulkers, and now we need to let this lava flow down into the void. And now that it's at the bottom, I can go ahead and place some water. And now let's carefully place all the ladders, followed by bridging out with over 128 blocks. So this is the platform where we are going to actually defeat the Enderman. Let's place two chests right here, and then we're going going to feed all the hoppers into this chest. I then put carpets on top of the hoppers, and then I'm going to build up two blocks and pretty much recreate the entire platform. And now it's time to use more carpets. Yes, so we're going to be placing carpets on the two outer layers of the platform that we just built, if that makes any sense. And now that's done, it's time for the tedious part. You see, with all the leaves that we collected earlier, we are now going to have to build up to Y level 44, making this ring shape. And although this task is easy to do, it just takes a long time and is very boring. And now this is the final ring that we have to build. So I'm going to quickly head back down here and grab all the building blocks. And now from here, we're going to build out 13 blocks. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that was uh, pretty fast. Wait, how fast can I edit this? Yeah, okay, maybe a bit too fast. All right, so now the next goal is to actually fill in this entire platform. So let's get to it. We'll know it's working if Endermen start spawning. And there we go. The farm is now almost finished because now we need to go get an Endemite in some little trapped area so the Endermans run towards it. You know what? Let me show you what I mean. Just like that. And now that we've done that, we can officially use this farm and get a lot of XP. Okay, so we're currently running low on fireworks, so let me show you what I do to get fireworks. First step, go down into a cave. Next step is to go and find those things. And then we're going to grab some sugarcane, turn all of it into paper, and then craft up fireworks. And now is finally time to make farm number four. And to do that, I'm going to go into the nether and we're going to start collecting some materials. And I need 45 stacks of magma blocks, so we might be here for a while. Luckily, these magma blocks come in massive patches, so maybe it won't take as long as I originally thought. I'm not going to lie though, these random pools of lava, <laughs> it's definitely getting annoying. All right, one patch down, 
and now we have over four stacks of magma blocks. So let's continue and look for more areas where we can collect more of these blocks. Yeah, we're going to need like 41 more stacks or something. Oh, what do we have here? Okay, I think I may have just found the jackpot of magma blocks. Whoa, there are so many blocks here. What? And now it looks like our pickaxe is getting quite low on durability. So maybe it's time to head back home. And I know this isn't the most efficient farm we've built today, but I think it's going to have to do because I kind of forgot where the nether fortress was and the end portal is kind of far away from my base. And just like that, our pickaxe is fully repaired. So let's go back to the nether. I went around collecting more magma blocks and eventually we had the 45 stacks that we needed. So now we can move on and start collecting the next materials. The next blocks that I'm going to need to go around and collect are some slabs. In fact, I'm going to need 16 stacks of slabs. I don't think it matters which type, so let's just go mine up some cobblestone or something. So as usual, let's go back down into the mines and start breaking out a massive room so we can collect all the materials. I think this should be enough, so let's collect the next material, which will be two and a half stacks of just normal solid blocks which isn't too hard. Now we also need two and a half stacks of walls. And now we need some scaffolding. In fact, we're going to need one and a half stacks of it. Followed by 12 glass, 10 trapdoors, eight hoppers, four iron blocks, four chests, two signs, two buckets of lava, one carved pumpkin, one turtle egg, one door, and one redstone block. And just like that, that should be all the materials that we're going to need. So let's head off to the nether. And now we're we're going to have to get onto the roof. Luckily, we have a ton of ender pearls, so that shouldn't be too hard. And just like that, now we're on the nether roof. We need to look for a nether wastelands biome. So using the F3 method, we should be able to just go around and look for this biome. There it is. I'm going to quickly build up a nether portal so we can get in and out of the roof really easily because I don't really want to break a hole through this bedrock. Using that TNT machine is kind of annoying and we're also kind of risking our life doing that. So I think the nether portal is the easiest option for now. But now that we've done this, it's finally time to build up the final farm. Hopefully this one isn't too complicated. Okay, so we're going to quickly place all the scaffolding and now let's quickly go up it all. Yep. This may take a little while. <laughs> and now, if I've done this correctly, once I reach the top, I should be at Y level 222. Perfect. And now see this little tunnel sort of thing using the blocks and the walls that I'm building? Yeah, I need to build this up to Y level 252. And now that I've made it up to Y level 252, I need to go ahead and put a sign exactly five blocks down from the top, followed by some lava, which is three blocks down from the top. And now let's recreate this entire pillar on the other side. And now it's time for the main shenanigans of this farm. Yeah, I'm going to be building out with a ton of magma blocks. First, we need to do this little shape. 27 blocks out, 12 blocks on each side, followed by seven blocks back towards the main area. I don't know what I'm saying. And now that we've done that, we need to do that on each of the other sides. And now, once we've done that, we have to fill all of it in with the magma blocks. Now, you may think this is easy, but every time I uncrouch, I take damage from these blocks. Yes, I could get the enchant that prevents this, but nah, I like torturing myself. Anyways, let's get to it. So apparently for the last like 20 minutes of recording, my gameplay has looked like this. Yeah, so I can't really use any of those videos. At least I did get the replay mod for most of it. But pretty much what I've done, I've spawn proof this area so gas can't spawn. And then I built this area over here where the iron golem sits that attracts all of the pigment. And now I'm kind of just AFKing and seeing how much XP I get. Yeah, maybe I did a bit too much of AFK. I'm now level 180 and we have quite a lot of gold. But now I think it's time we head back home because I need to do one more thing. So now that we're back at home, I want to go ahead and go back over to this village over here. And this forest is going to come in handy. I'm going to be collecting a ton of wood because now I want to go ahead and get mending on all my armor and tools. So let's go ahead, collect a ton of wood. And then using all this wood, I'm going to trade a ton of sticks for more emeralds. I then bought some mending books, returned back home, put it on my armor and 
tools. And that's how I built four XP farms in today's video. Subscribe. But now we don't end there. Since this is a 100 day video, we still have a few days to go. And now I want to quickly head back to the nether so we can repair our armor. So let's go through the nether portal. Actually, this is the wrong portal. Let's go to the other one. Here we go. And now let's fly on up and get ready to repair our armor. Obviously, since I don't have many firework rockets left, I need to go ahead and get a method that can give me more fireworks. So now let's grab all our shulkers and head back into the nether because I'm going to be collecting a ton of netherrack. I'm sure everybody who's subscribed to my channel has seen me make the farm that I'm about to make. Whoa, okay, lava get out of here. I then just continued to collect a ton of netherrack. And now that I've collected all that netherrack, it's time to start collecting some more materials, starting with a ton more slabs. So let's go back down into the mines and start mining up a ton of cobblestone for the slabs. And next, we're going to need some sand. We don't need too much of it this time, so I'm sure this amount of sand will do. So let's use our shovel and collect all of it. And now it's finally time to start building up this farm. So let's begin with the storage area, and then we need to make a 5x5 five five platform using the hoppers. Just like that. Next, we need to make a ring around the hoppers and build out seven blocks. And then we pretty much just want to fill this entire platform in. And then using my glass, which I got from the sand, I'm going to create a border around this place. And now we need to go ahead and start building out the actual farm. So we place the dispenser and then we build out using seven blocks on each side. And now we need to build up like this, place an observer facing downwards, and then we repeat this until there are 10 platforms, just like this. There we go. And now I need to come back up here and we need to start building out with slabs. This is obviously to, I don't know, remove the light from the area. So now we need to build out 14 blocks in each direction. And there we go. So now we need to simply just fill this platform in with all the slabs. This may take a little while. And there we go. The platform is now complete. So now we need to build out seven blocks on each side. And then we need to make it two blocks wide, followed by an extra block here and then we place a lever as well as a comparator and then we need to place a redstone and make sure all these repeaters are on the full tick. And now I just need to add some water and then the farm should be complete. And before I go ahead and AFK, it's time to build up a sugarcane farm because we also need paper for fireworks. So let's quickly flatten this area out and then we're going to start digging out a few trenches. And now let's go fly around, look for some sugarcane, and let's collect all of this. Oh, looks like we're actually going to get a decent amount from it as well. So now we can return back home and plant all the sugarcane. And obviously, since I wasn't recording again somehow, what I did next was collected a ton of wood, and then I traded with the mending villagers to get a ton more mending books for all my armor and tools that didn't already have the mending. And now we have a gunpowder farm, well, an every mob farm, as well as some sugarcane, so we can craft a ton of fireworks ready for future videos. Make sure to subscribe, turn the notifications on for when those happen, and thanks for watching.